Hi there. Now before we start the second part to this question, in the first part, if you saw the video, we had to find the equation of the tangent to this curve y equals 3 minus 2x all cubed at the point x equals a half, y equals 8. And we found that the equation of this tangent, let's just put it in here, was y equals minus 24x plus 20. Now in the second part here, it says find the area of the shaded region, this region in here. So it's worth six marks. And if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, the area of the shaded region is in fact 9 eighths. So if you got that, well done. If not, and want to see how it's done, I'll take you through the work solution. Now, to find this area, what I'm going to do is, first of all, let's just draw a line down from this point here with coordinates half 8 to the x-axis. So I'm going to also label these sections off. We'll just say this point here is the point A. This point up here is the point B. And then we'll go over to here and we'll say this is the point C. And down here, this is D. So to get this shaded area, what I'm going to do is work out the area O, B, C, D. That's the area under the curve to the x-axis. And then I'm going to take away the area O, A, C, D. That is a trapezium. And that will leave me with the shaded area. Now, in order to work out the area under the curve, that is O, B, C, D, I'm going to need to integrate the curve between 0 and the x-coordinate at D, which is a half. And then when it comes to working out the area of the trapezium, the area of the trapezium, remember, is half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart. So that's the method I'm going to be using. So let's start off then with the area under the curve, the area O, B, C, D, in other words. And that's going to be equal then to the integral of the equation Okay, which will be 3 minus 2x, all cubed, integrated with respect to x, going between the limits from 0 to the x-coordinate at d, which is 1 half. Now to integrate anything of this form, a linear function here to a uh, power, then we should be familiar with this result that ax plus b to the power n integrated with respect to x is equal to that linear function ax plus b but raised to the power n plus 1 and then we divide by that new power n plus 1 and we also divide by the coefficient of x which in this case is a. So looking at this example here n is the 3 and a is minus 2. So our result is going to be 3 minus 2x, all to the power 4. We divide by the 4, and we multiply this with the value a, which is minus 2. And this goes between the limits, so we'll put this in square brackets. It goes between the limits of 0 and 1 half. So it's just a question now of substituting our limits in to get then the area of OBCD. And if we put the 4 times minus 2, which is minus 8, we've got 1 eighth. If we put that outside, put minus 1 eighth there, if we put that outside a square bracket, it'll make it a lot easier to work with. So what we've got then is just 3 minus 2 times a half all to the power 4. First of all, 3 minus 2 
times a half and all of that is to the power 4 and then from that we subtract what we get when we put 0 through so that's just going to be 3 to the power 4 okay 3 to the power 4 and what does that come to well we've got minus 1 eighth here and 2 times a half is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 2 to the power 4 well that's going to be 16 and then we've got minus 3 to the power 4 which is 81 and that comes out at 65 over 8 65 eighths it's an area so I'm just going to write units squared okay you don't have to do that but I always like to do that for areas okay well that's the area OBCD we now need to move on to the area of the trapezium so we'll come down here it's going to be a bit tight but hopefully we should be able to fit this in so the area of that trapezium which is OACD so area OACD and to work out the area of trapezium then we need to do the sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart and divide by 2 well first of all we need to get this height here and this will be where the tangent crosses the y-axis well the equation of tangent was y equals minus 24x plus 20 so it crosses the y-axis when x is 0 which gives us y equals 20 so we'll put this one in here that this point here is when y equals 20 and for this point at C, well, we know that that's going to be 8 units, okay, up there, because that's the coordinates of that one there, okay? So we're in a position to get the area of the trapezium then. It's going to be the sum of the parallel sides, so that would be 20, okay, for this one, plus the 8, multiplied by the distance apart, that's OD, that's going to be half a unit and we divide all of this by 2 and if you work this out we've got 28 here divide that by 2 is 14 times it by a half is 7 okay so you've got 7 units squared again so therefore when it comes on to the shaded area Okay, what's it going to be? Well, it's just going to be the area under the curve, 65 eighths, minus the area of the trapezium, minus 7. And if you do that, you end up with 9 eighths. 9 eighths unit squares. All right?